a solid day in the gym today, an hour on the bike, on the stationary bike, on that spin bike, oh my goodness. So I went for an hour, four minutes on, one minute off, so kind of like a fart lick, kind of a longer extended fart lick, and I felt like I got my heart rate up pretty good today. Not, uh, I want to go even harder moving forward, but again, just making sure I'm not putting too much pressure on the foot as I'm doing this cross training so that I can continue to move in the right direction, if you know what I mean. All right, and yes, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm on crutches right now, I'm injured. But that does not mean I'm not dreaming about summer running. Does it get better than summer running? However, there's people watching all over the world, uh, literally, you know, in, this, in the Southern Hemisphere as well. You might be entering into winter, and I, I feel for you. If you are entering into winter, let us know down in the comments, like if you're in Australia or South Africa or wherever, or I get Patagonia or wherever you're at in the world. Uh, yeah, it's just so crazy to me to think that in June, July, August, that's your winter. Anyway, I digress. Okay, moving on. Basically, as runners, we are, I think we're very fortunate. We don't have to deal with flat tires on a mountain bike. We don't have to deal with uh, ropes in, in rock climbing. We don't have to deal with snapped kayak paddles. You know what I mean? We, I, I always say it, but and I love to keep saying it, our sport, for the most part, is really, really simple. You literally, all you need is running shoes. And even then, you could go run around a grass field barefoot if you wanted. Like, it's just such a beautiful thing, in my humble opinion, that you don't need that much gear to get into the sport. Meaning, you don't have to spend, you know, $2,000 to get into running. You, you know, maybe, maybe two to 300 at the bare minimum, and then it goes up from there. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna break down all of these items for you, for running uh, gear this summer in 2019 and yes all of the gear that i'm about to talk about most of it i'd say 95 percent of it is available down below from amazon however caveat always always go support your local running shoe shop first if they carry some of this gear go support them but what i have found as a smaller guy like i'm five five and a half so a lot of times running shoe shops don't carry my sizing therefore amazon comes in pretty handy but i just always want to mention that like go support your local running shoe shops first because they need our business in order to keep the marketplace competitive all right what we're gonna do today we're gonna start on our on our, our head and we're gonna move all the way down to our toes all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna run you through all of the running gear which again I, I keep it pretty simple but all the running gear that helps you get through those longer runs um, and I'm an ultra runner that's kind of coming back in distance and transitioning to the marathon this year um, but so a lot of the footage you're about to see was filmed in the last 12 months uh, as I prepared for ultra races in 2018, but I'm using a lot of the same gear in 2019. Why? Because it's working and that's the sign of a great product. Uh, but I also know there's a lot of high schoolers, college students watching these videos. I personally did not like in college. Now this was like 10 years ago, but in college we literally showed up for a long run with short shorts, socks, and we didn't wear a shirt and running shoes. And then our coach would drive the van and we would get water from the van. Like that, like we did, I didn't wear sunglasses, I didn't wear hats, I, so it was very, very simple. But if you're serious about 75 minute, 90 minute, two hour, two and a half hour long runs, uh, you know, I wouldn't say a two and a half hour long run for a high schooler, but just long runs as a younger person, I do think some of these items could help you as well, especially if you're training solo without a coach or without any aid along the way, because you can't go run for an hour and 45 minutes in the summer heat without water. I've done it, I used to do it, and it's not advisable. I'm telling you, it's not advisable. In fact, one of my worst runs of my life where I was literally like doing the, doing the, sh I had the shakes or what's it called? The skeleton dance. I was, I like was staggering home the last mile of like a long 22 mile run in college in Buena Vista, no water. I, I mean, I almost passed out. So anyway, I digress. Let's dive in. Here we go. First item on the list. That's right. The Solomon XA hat the solomon xa hat why they have that xa in there i don't know it's my green hat why do i love this hat a couple different reasons first of all very breathable very lightweight i go with the green just so everybody knows 
because of safety up in the mountains. I want something as bright as possible in case I break my ankle and I can't get off the mountain and somebody has to come find me. I want something bright to get as much attention to me as possible. Um, and in addition, I know it looks a little, a little dorky, but in the summertime when I'm out on two, three, four, five hour long runs up in the mountains, I like having this uh, flap in the back and I don't use it too much in the winter, but in the summer, I love this thing because it basically like, I just don't want a sunburn on my neck. It's just not worth it. And I can put sunscreen and sunscreen all day long, but uh, this really helps keep the sun off my neck and basically uh, yeah so the footage I know it looks a little weird but I like it for the long summer runs so that is the Solomon XA hat again it's down below and then I love running I love going for a run at like 7 30 p.m right when it's starting to get dark and then it's officially dark at like 8 45 but at the end of the run I pull out the Petzl now headlamp this is a heavier headlamp but man um, the battery life is incredible and it's yeah it's just this it's it's very bright let's see if the battery's charged actually oh i need to charge the battery but it's the petzl now and you can charge what i really love about it is you can charge this battery pack through a usb port so you don't have to buy batteries love this thing it's a it's a little on the heavier side just so you know so it might be better for bigger mountain runs or if you're going out for three four hours at night okay moving down uh the body we're gonna go into yes i know it's crazy but i i either i either run without a shirt or i run with a singlet this for me so far and i haven't tried a ton of singlets i've tried asics nike um i think i had a an adidas uh, sorry a mizuno singlet at one point I like I like New Balance. Um, yeah, this is just the standard New Balance singlet. I love it. Very breathable. Love that. And when it's crisp out in the morning, if you live, you know, in the northern part of Europe or the northern part of the, of the United States or at high altitude, when you start your run, you might start off a little chilly. So this is a jacket from Brooks, and I will look up the official name. I couldn't actually find it before I started recording, but basically this Brooks jacket, it's red. So I have the green Solomon jacket, but it's a little too heavy for summer running. This is from Brooks, and it says on the inside, it is the Brooks sheltered. It has Brooks shelter technology. It's a size small for me, and it's very, very lightweight. It just takes the edge off when you are starting your run or if you're at high altitude and the wind kicks up and it's just a little brisk like it it goes from 60 degrees down to you know the the high 40s or something like that so love this jacket from brooks and staying on the torso we're gonna move on to the hydration vest i had no idea about hydration vests before like three or four years ago and they're really like everybody is making hydration vests nike makes hydration vests now so my first hydration vest was by Ultimate Direction. This is the Anton Kropitschka version uh, 1.0. So this is old, and I will say I actually don't love it anymore. Uh, I would not buy the... I, I think Ultimate Direction is doing great things, but uh, basically I think they're catching up a little bit. Uh, and I, I guess I'll also mention right now, my second vest that I have right now is Raid Light. So I think both of these vests are doing pretty good but i think the material that they are using is a little heavy and a little rigid a little stiff um i have found based on research at rei where i've gone to rei and held and picked up now ultimate direction and raid light i think they're moving forward with respect to what material they're using lighter material material that's a little more malleable and fits to the to the body and the torso better uh but here's what i'm excited about in 2019 so back to Raid Light. I'm excited about the Raid Light Revolution 3 liter vest, a uh, racing vest, and then the Solomon S Lab Sense Ultra 8 set. Kind of expensive, uh, but I'm excited about that. And then the Nathan Vapor Mag 2.5 liter. So stay tuned. I haven't bought them yet, but I, I'm researching more. Literally going to REI and picking the picking them up with my own two hands and just feeling like what does the material feel like so 
I'm telling you, hydration vests, so key. Now, if you are not too excited about wearing something in the hot summer months, uh, another option is a handheld. So these are handheld water bottles where it basically straps right onto your hand there. You see that and it has a strap here to tighten it down. Again, I didn't know about these things two to three years ago. In fact, a lot of people are making these types of handheld water bottles. When I, here we go, tip of the day. When I wanna go fast in a training run, I usually opt for the handheld over the vest. I don't know what it is, but I prefer not to be restricted at all through my arm. Like I don't want anything on my shoulders, on my chest, on my back. It's weird. I don't know what it is. I prefer to have a little more weight in my in my hand and I guess in my sh like I don't know I prefer to carry more weight through my arm swing rather than on my torso maybe you're different but that's how I roll and this one is the Nathan speed draw plus insulated handheld it holds 18 fluid ounces uh, that insulation I think really works actually you can kind of see that silver there uh, that shininess and it just helps keep your water cool. And what I do is I put ice cubes in it ahead of time and let those melt throughout the long run. Um, so I love this thing. Now, if I'm going more than two hours, I'll carry two. If I'm going less than like an hour 45, I can usually get by with just one. And again, it depends on how humid it is and how hot it is. I almost forgot. I apologize. Sunglasses. My favorite sunglasses are the Smith Chroma Pop Max and these sunglasses you see them on your screen right now I lost my pair in December I have not replaced them yet I love them I love them why coverage of the eyes they just cover the face and this is especially for like four five hour long runs for ultra running especially like when you're out there in the high altitude the, the sun is beating down on you. You just want to protect your face and your eyes as much as possible. In my humble opinion, I love these sunglasses. Temporarily, right now, hold on. Right now, I'm just using these Foster Grant sunglasses. Yes, $14 from Walmart. And they're polarized and they're, they're getting the job done for now. When I have a little more money, I will reinvest in the Smith Chroma Pop Max. Absolutely. I just, and again, maybe they don't look as cool as some other sunglasses, but I just love that full coverage of the eyes. That's why I use those particular sunglasses from Smith. All right, moving down the body from the torso, we're moving to the running shorts. Oh, we could talk about running shorts. All, in fact, I will probably make another vlog at some point all about running shorts that is a big topic because it's really critical why chafing staying cool uh, lightweight all these different factors so right now my favorite running shorts for the summer not the winter not the fall but for the hot summer months here we go are you ready the new balance impact three inch split shorts that's right new balance again i don't know what it is i've got the new balance singlet that i love and then these shorts that i absolutely love so so much they're the lightest short i found just like as far as how they it's the material i don't know what material they're using but it's just like so light and airy when i know it's going to be really hot out this is always my go-to running shorts i just i grab for them every single time so two options for you it's the same material just a slightly different design it's the accelerate three inch split short or the impact split three inch short i love these things so so much i wish i could run in them every single day i'm just putting it out there right now all right moving on from running shorts down to our feet and we're not going to talk about shoes today as much as i would love to instead we're honing in on running socks for the summertime it's crazy i know you might think like a sock is a sock does it make it does it make a difference at all i would say yes and of course we've talked about this in the past upper right hand corner go check out that vlog that vlog actually is kind of taken off a lot of people are watching that uh vlog all about running socks socks and so my favorite sock right now for summertime running has to be the smart wool ultra light micro sock that's right this sock right here oh it wicks away moisture so well very comfortable i don't know what it is smart wool is nailing it uh, i think it's because they blend in a little bit of wool into their socks and traditionally 
Wool was used a lot for mountaineering and uh, big adventures in the mountain. Well, I think Smart Wool is really nailing it with this sock. So that is my favorite sock right now for summertime running. However, a quick, uh, a close second at this point. Now, I haven't put it through hot, hot weather, but this Solomon, and now it's expensive, but this Solomon NSO technology is really, it really has my attention. Now, you're going to pay a pretty penny for these socks, but I'm guessing that this sock technology is going to be uh, all over the trails this summer for, you know, big mountain runs, ultra running when you're out there on the trails. So watch out for the Solomon NSO lineup. They have tall, tall socks, mid distance so or yeah, middle distance socks, and then uh, shorter socks for like races. So anyway, and then of course, my last sock is going to be Stance. This is not a summer sock that I have here, but I do really like the comfort level of Stance socks. Uh, so stay tuned. I will probably pick up another pair for summertime sooner rather than later. This is more of a, I would say a fall and early winter type sock. It's not too thick, but it's also not too thin. So anyway, stay tuned for more thoughts on Stance soon. And there you have it. Now I know we just covered a lot, but I'm telling you, this video right now, I wish I would have watched what I just said four years ago when I was getting into ultra running, long runs in the mountains, uh, even in high school or college, like going out for two, two and a half hour long runs. I really wish I would have had more information on hydration options, right? And uh, staying, you know, protecting yourself from the sun. And I realize some of it will not be applicable to everybody, but if you're new to running, especially, um, and you're going out for long, long run, if you're getting ready for a marathon or an ultra marathon, it really does help to uh, <laughs> stave off and push off uh, the sun beating down on you uh, is staying hydrated, carrying food with you. That's what that, well, actually I forgot to mention, that's where the hydration vests come in. You can carry quite a bit of food in those hydration vests. These guys right here, and also the Nathan and Solomon options, but even in the handheld, it has a zipper here. So you can put uh, gels in here. You can put real food in here. You can put whatever you want in here as long as it fits inside and carry quite a bit for those longer, longer efforts, especially up in the mountains or on a longer effort. Uh, yeah. So anyway, thank you for listening to all of that. I appreciate it. Oh, I just love all this stuff. It's not, again, keep it simple as runners. Let's not overcomplicate our sport, but there are a few little things and tricks uh, as far as gear is concerned that can just help you enjoy those longer efforts. Sound good? Keyword, did I already mention it, is summer. Keyword is summer. And the question of the day, what questions do you have for me about summer running gear? I will do my best to answer as many of your questions as possible. Or what would you add to this list? For example, we did not get into sunscreen, anti-chafing, uh, you know, gel or balm or whatever you want to call it. We didn't get into uh, hydration mixes or gels. Oh gosh, we could cover so, so much. But if you have any other thoughts about summer running gear, let us know down in the comments. That'd be awesome. All right, I hope that helped out as many of you as possible. Again, most of the items are available down below from Amazon. Seek beauty, work hard, love each other. We got this. See you tomorrow.